Hi guys, just checking in. Happy Monday. It seems like all of the events that we had planned for November are happening this week. There's a lot that I'd like to share with you, starting with our new mission of the month. Through November and December, we are taking special donations for Operation Underground Railroad, or OUR. OUR is a US-based nonprofit organization whose goal it is to assist government agencies in the rescue of human trafficking and sex trafficking victims with a special focus on children. Here's a little bit more about Operation Underground Railroad. The OUR Ops team primarily consists of highly experienced and extensively trained current and former law enforcement personnel. Other members have a background in either the military or in intelligent work. Their goal is to develop long-term relationships with foreign governments and their law enforcement agencies responsible for combating human trafficking and child sexual exploitation. Not only do they work to assist in the prevention and rescue, but also in the aftercare in anticipation of that rescue. The mission of OUR Aftercare is to support survivors of trafficking in their healing process by meeting their individual needs. OUR strives to provide personalized care to each survivor they work with. They assist survivors in getting needed medical care, such as surgeries, dental work, and therapy. In the U.S., their efforts also include court advocacy, connecting survivors with free mental health services or mentors, vocational training, college scholarships, and holistic support to the family unit when Child Protective Services determines a survivor can return to their family. They do this domestically and internationally. When you donate, you directly impact the life of a suffering child. Child trafficking has been detected in all 50 of these U.S. states. This is happening in your community. Please pray for this mission and ministry and consider making a donation to Operation Underground Railroad over the next two months. Just $5 can help bring 40 children to safety. If you'd like to learn more about this mission of the month, you can go to OURrescue.org. Now your search committee has a meeting on Tuesday night, so please be in prayer for them, for their wisdom. Our paper and hygiene's product pantry is open again this Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. They could probably use a few more hands since some of our usual volunteers have flown south for the winter. So just show up at 5.30 if you'd like to volunteer. Our scrapbooking and hobby night is this Friday at 6.30. Bring your own drink and a snack to share and, of course, your hobby. It's a nice night of idea sharing and fellowship. This Saturday morning at 9 a.m., the Men's Fellowship Group is getting together for breakfast, this time with special guest speaker Israel Wayne. Israel has a passion for defending the Christian faith and promoting a biblical worldview. He's planning on bringing you the message, Growing Strong Through Spiritual Disciplines. We invite all men to come out and enjoy this morning of fellowship and faith building. Saturday night at 7 p.m. is our next movie night. We will be showing the movie As I Stand, which is a heartwarming story that follows two families that are brought together by tragedy, but forever joined through faith. Devin and Matthew, the two main characters, are loving, hard-working men who believe in God, in family, and helping others. But their lives quickly turn into a search for peace and understanding when a single horrific event impacts everything they have ever loved. As the landscape of their lives continues to change, each man handles that road ahead in a very different fashion, and their unlikely friendship will cause them to meet at the same crossroad and both ask the question, would you love God for nothing? The movie's free, the popcorn's free, so come on out and join us. We had some technical difficulties with yesterday's live stream, so if you are unable to access that, I apologize. You will find a link to that worship service at the end of this video. Next Sunday, Pastor Len Smith will be back to bring us the message. And also next Sunday, right after the Sunday worship service, is our annual Thanksgiving dinner. Fellowship and Hospitality Ministry is providing the turkey, mashed potatoes, gravy, and rolls. So please just bring a side or a dessert to share. All are more than welcome to this dinner. Our weekly prayer time will be next Sunday night from 6 to 6.30 in the church library. And there's also an audio-only Zoom link available for those who can't make it to the church. You can email our church office or contact Steve Frick in order to get on that email list. Our Bible memory verses this week come from 1 John 3, 17 to 18. And they say, If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need and has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. And that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys stay safe, stay warm, stay blessed, and I'll see you on the next one.